Grace and peace. My name is Dr. Keith K. Curry with my wife, Pastor Keisha M. Curry. We're the senior pastor of the Free and Independent Apostolic Church right here in the beautiful city of Jacksonville, North Carolina. Listen, today is a great day to have good church, but we got some rules. We call them CDC rules. We have capacity, which means we do not fill the building. Also, we wear our masks, and when we wear our masks, we cover it with our nose and our mouth covered together. We also have sanitizing stations where you will wash your hands and you'll get sanitized. We also social distance six feet if possible. Listen, these are the rules so that you can be blessed, you can bless God, and you can be saved. So please follow the rules so we can have great church. Listen, today is going to be a great day to hear from God. Intense prayer should be starting right about now. Hallelujah. 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 God, we honor you. God, we love you. God, we worship you. We say hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God, we are thankful this morning. You got us through another week, and we say thank you. God, we didn't do everything right this past week, but you got us through, oh God. And for that, we say thank you. God, forgive us. Forgive us for not doing everything right. Forgive us for not putting you first. Forgive us for doing our own thing. God, we say thank you. 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 
have your way in this place, oh God. Every weight, oh God, we ask that you lift. Every burden, oh God, we ask that you lift. Do it like only you can. Do it like only you can. Do it like only you can. more of you and less of us. We need you today, oh God. We speak deliverance in this house. We speak miracles, signs, and wonders today, oh God. We speak miracles, signs, and wonders today. In Jesus' name we pray. y'all come to give God some praise on this place on today. Hallelujah. He kept us throughout the week. He woke us up this morning. Come on, y'all act like y'all came to give God some praise on today. Hallelujah.
many of y'all want the Lord to have your have his way on today in your life? Have his way, have do his will. Whatever his will is yes, for you. Lord, what, yes, have
Hallelujah, God. 
Praise the Lord, everyone. Here for the announcements for this morning. Here at Free and Independent Apostolic Church, where our senior leader is Dr. Keith K. Curry, where we have our word on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. and our Sunday worship service goes at 10 a.m. We're filling empty pews. There is a seat and a purpose waiting for you. We are located at 475 Marine Boulevard in Jacksonville, North Carolina, where a church so alive is worth the drive. The Languages of Christ is our series for the month of November, and we have been taught very well by our very own apostle, Dr. K.K. Curry, amen. So we are still having the series, The Languages of Christ, and we are truly thankful for this series. Free and Independent Episodic Church Family and Friends Sunday. So on next Sunday, December the 5th, we are having Apostle, with Apostle K.K. Curry, along with Co-Pastor Keisha M. Curry, our senior leaders, are having Families and Friends Day at 10 a.m. next Sunday morning. So whoever brings in the most family or friends on this day will receive a gift prize. Amen. So next Sunday, we're looking forward to everybody bringing in someone. So again, whoever brings in the most for family and friends, they will be given a prize on next Sunday. The Flowing Church, excuse me, the Flowing Place Church pastoral anniversary celebrating 12 years of servanthood. This is Pastor Timothy Newton, and you all remember him. He came and spoke on one of our millennial nights and tore the house down. So Apostle will be with him on next Sunday, December the 5th at 5 p.m. Amen. So December the 5th, next Sunday at 5 p.m. in Rockingham, North Carolina for the pastoral anniversary of Pastor Timothy Newton. We have the free and independent apostolic virtual, amen. So don't let distance keep you from God. Join us and become a virtual member. All you have to do is complete out the new member application at the freefnc.org. There you will have your coverings from our apostle and our co-pastor Curry. You'll be able to give You'll also be able to live stream and be a part of the family. Even though you're not here in the city, you still be a part of the free and independent apostolic church family. And on this week, our apostle and our pastor celebrated their anniversary. Amen. 30 wonderful years of marriage. Amen. And we thank God for them. Amen. And they will be leaving and going on a vacation this week on to on they're leaving on today so guess what while they on vacation we will not bother them we will not be inboxing them we would not bring nothing to them at all nothing absolutely you said and a happy anniversary already so we don't need to say it again so we're going to let them enjoy themselves they are celebrating 30 years they are about to have an awesome time in miami florida so what we can do is pray that they enjoy themselves and god will continue to keep them safe but that's all we're going to do amen free and independent we will not bother them they're going to have fun and also on Wednesday, Wednesday, we will still be having church. So Prophetess Gamble will be bringing forth the word on Wednesday. Amen. So we are still going to pack out the house and we're still going to have church on Wednesday. Amen. So govern yourselves according to the announcements of the week. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, stand up on your feet. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, all over the building, give God praise because he's worthy to be praised on today. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul cries out, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, put to the 
the men, the king of kings, and the lord of lords. Uh, the alpha and omega, the beginning and the end. Everyone that is watching online, our East members, we welcome you into our service on today. Feel free to clap your hands with us, run around your house, hallelujah. We are here to serve the most high God, and we welcome you again to the great free and independent apostolic church. Put your hands together for Jesus. Amen. It's offering time. Amen. Thanks that you have your offering that you will stand. another day, another opportunity to be in his home, and be in our home, and dwell amongst the saints in the sanctuary. We thank God for Thanksgiving, but most of all, we are thankful in what we give unto God. So if you have your tithes and offering ready, and if you don't have it ready, teach the children to stand, that they might reverence since we're all of God's children, we all should be standing. Amen. If our hearts and minds are clear. Father, we thank you for this time, O oh God. We thank you for the ability to give, O oh God. Bless those who are giving, O oh God, and those that don't, that they might have to give next time. And we thank you for all things great and small that you're doing for us. We truly give honor unto you. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Thank God. Amen. You're now in the hands of our capable ushers from the rear of the sanctuary and in the hands of our mighty musicians. Amen.
Come on, give God a hand, praise. Come on, all over the building. Amen. Amen. Body of Christ, let's just go right into it. want to pray for all those that are with family. Pray to travel back. Body of Christ, eat in Jesus' name. The blood of Christ, drink in Jesus' name. And the church said amen. amen. December 12th, 13th, and 14th, I need all of you that work at night to get those days off. Somebody say amen. amen. Everyone, if you're a member of this church, everyone to get those days off. The 12th, 13th, and 14th. That's a Sunday night, Monday night, and Tuesday night. Our leader, Dr. Todd Hall, will be here. Amen. Somebody say amen. And I don't know about other churches, but when my leader shows up, I drop everything I'm doing, and I'm in place, period. No excuses, because we thank God that we have a leader that comes here. All right, y'all. Y'all go ahead and join some of these, what y'all call big organizations. I ain't going to call no names out or no organization names, but most organizations and not organisms use you as a number and a tithing number. Take everything from you, give you nothing in return. Talk back to me. Whenever I need my leader, he shows up. He shows up every time I need him. <laughs> Folks mad because he show up every time I need him. They get upset. Why are you always going over there? And he said these words, no two folks catch it. He says because when he calls me, his tithe answers for me. What connects me to my leader, my leader to me, is his wisdom. Y'all yeah, ain't gonna like this part, but what connects me to him is, his, is my money, my seed. And when I seed into a leader, then everything that he has belongs to me. All the wisdom, all the knowledge, all the understanding, and then this one, for two folks that catch it, time. Now, some of y'all ain't going to believe that. You don't like that. But you know, if you go to a doctor, you got to pay for his time. Go to the ER, you're paying for their time. Psychiatrist, you're paying for their time. It's funny. The only time you don't pay for is the pastor. And we're guarding, we're guarding your whole life. Look how mad y'all getting right now. I ain't doing no offering. Relax, I'm not doing an offering. You know, we don't do that around here. I don't teach to get paid. I pay because I'm teaching. I mean, I'm on vacation already, so we're going to preach what I can. <laughs> but time, I'm already gone. They don't even know it. I'm on the tarmac already flying. But I have to get my work done before I leave. <laughs> Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 through 58. All right, we're going to do it one good time, y'all. One good time. All right. Matthew chapter 13, 13, 44 through 58. You know, you have to take advantage of the days you feel good. Because you don't get many of them 
walking for Christ. I wish I had somebody who know what I'm talking about. You're going to always have days worrying about something. If it ain't one thing. And if one thing go good, something else acts up. Oh, y'all quiet. But today, I, don't, I ain't got no issues today. I ain't. And some of y'all that want your issue to be my issue, it ain't. I learned how to mind my own business. Oh, y'all quiet. I learned, get that fan from that little demon right there. Lady Porter, she's a demon. Every time she takes my temperature, it's 98 degrees. When anybody else takes my temperature, it's 97. I just made your husband a deacon and trainer. What kind of foolishness is this? Now, you might say, well, why he always do that to certain people? Watch this. You don't get that side of me until you survive the other side. And a whole lot of y'all don't get that side because when you get the other side, you get mad. So therefore, there's no relationship. Because you want somebody to pat you on the head that'll correct you. You can only cry, you can only laugh when you have cried. Oh, y'all ain't saying that? And let me prophesy and say this, the five folks that'll jump and go crazy because I feel the anointing. This year, what made you cry, next year gonna make you laugh. Yep. Oh, look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, whatever made you cry this year is going to make you laugh next year. Oh, no, I'm talking about laugh for real. I'm talking about having a headache laughing. I'm talking about got to hold your stomach because then you're going to really say, and when I think of his goodness and all that he's done for me, now we already... Take your neighbor hand and tell your neighbor it's about to make you laugh. This year it almost made you give up. Next year it's gonna make you run a little faster. It's gonna make you run a little harder. Let me say this for two folks that would be very excited even though you still loaded down by the turkey you ate on Thursday. And I didn't eat a lot, so I'm good. It's going to be interesting, Hughes Jr. Because Hughes and Hughes Jr. It's going to be interesting, Hughes Jr. When, that's how I call you, because if I say Hughes, they all going to say something, right? It's going to be interesting when literally everything you failed this year becomes successful next year. All right. And if those don't believe it, don't clap your hands. I'll take my success and leave y'all behind right here. Cause, <laughs> what if I told you wasn't never supposed to fail at it? But because you went at it the wrong way, it could not yield this fruit. But God said, it's, in January, I'm going to teach you how to posture yourself. to get everything you need from God. I'm telling you right now. Look at your neighbor in faith and tell your neighbor next year gonna be a great year. All right, I'll say it, Holy Ghost, but you putting me on a limb saying this. He said for 15 folks that'll go crazy and dance for 10 seconds, he said, if you dance and dance real good and come back to me, he said, I'll make yours start December 15th.
Now let me say this to be clear, Vic, because they don't understand what I'm saying. The Holy Ghost said seven of y'all already got something that you need done by the 15th anyway. Oh, y'all just missed that. And you've been waiting on God to give you an answer anyway that you needed before Christmas. And God said, I'm about to turn it around by the 15th. Don't act like you ain't been waiting on something. Don't act like you ain't had nothing in the fire. Don't act like you don't need an answer. But when praises go up, blessings come down. Yeah! Oh, yeah. Howl at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor it's already happening. said this I gotta teach this y'all I only got 388 words the Holy Ghost says like this the miracle is like ordering something from Amazon y'all quiet he said but in 24 hours I'm gonna give you the tracking number oh I'm about to I'm about to give you the tracking number speaking however you take it you take it I can't the Lord said these words and he said it clearly to me while I'm up here trying to read my little scripture he said curry I want you to tell them this I said what's that Lord he says for the first time I'm gonna let them know when the miracle is coming like some of y'all gonna get a dream and a vision and two of y'all already had the dream That's why some of y'all dance so hard, because you just had the vision. But you didn't have a date, nor did you have a tracking number, nor did you know it's already sent off. And if you jump on this, I'm going to be blessed. God said, I liken you unto Daniel. Y'all quiet. You're starting to get a little frustrated with the waiting. But God said, I gave it to you. I heard you the first time you said it, and I've already sent your blessing. If you praise them, you help the angels fight for you. Because I'm about to give them what they got to do. So, no more playing. Because we only dance off what God does. We never dance off instructions, so don't even do that. Because sometimes instructions make you do things you don't want to do. In order to get what you need. Yeah. 
See, you only need a miracle because you failed at a principle. Miracles are needed where principles are failing. So if you talk about I need a financial miracle, God is asking where all that money he gave you. Oh, oh, let's see. This way it gets quiet, young man. This way it gets quiet. They don't want to talk about this. They, oh, how da, how da, how da. You know, God does it all, but nobody wants to talk about what you got to do to make sure it's shifting. Because I'm going to say to the five folks, God is tired of sending your blessing through your hell. And now your blessing got to survive your hell just to get to you. Somebody ought to be smart enough to clear the way. A plane does not land, watch this, on a tarmac that have planes on it. I was, I was flying uh, about a year ago, I believe it was both of us, about a year ago, I was flying and we was coming to the Jacksonville and that plane was coming in and I was getting ready for the landing and all of a sudden it took back off. And I said, what time on Sunday? All loud. No, I was like, oh, Shekai, my Tosia. I said, oh, no, I ain't going there. I'm not going down. I'm not going to hell. I said, this ain't going to happen. You know, this ain't going to happen. I said, what happened? Oh, man, I'm going to jump on this myself. I said, what happened? The guy came over the loudspeaker and said these words. He said, it was clear, to, it was clear for you to land until a deer got in the way. Oh, oh y'all quiet. And so in order to land, I must now, watch this, hover over. What if I told you your miracle was hovering over you because you ain't got nothing clear for it to land on? So the plane literally circled around OAJ two times till Bambi felt like she wanted to get out the way. Bambi left, we landed. Some of y'all would have been got a miracle. But you keep on, got, you got that mess. What's your mess? Your married life. What's your mess? How you do your children. What's your mess? How you obey your leadership. What's your mess? Why are y'all quiet now? Nobody's running and shouting now. I done quenched the spirit. I done quenched the Holy Ghost. Now I'm going to say this because the Holy Ghost just said it and I'm going to be clear. Now I don't talk, I don't say unless the Holy Ghost said that's what I'm saying. Y'all don't know that by now. And if it offends you, then you got a problem with the Holy Ghost. Certain checks that we're going to get next year does not have her name on it. Neither does it have my name on it. It has our name on it. Okay, all right. I'll let y'all catch that later. Y'all quiet. Y'all know why some of y'all quiet, I know. I get it. Praise the Lord. You will go through another year with nothing. You'll go through another year broke. Yeah, this is the way they, this is the part I don't shout at because no one likes instructions, you know. No one, everybody wants God to do stuff, but nobody wants the instructions. This is why, y'all quiet, this is why Amen Children of Israel was three days away, but it took them 40 years to get there because they couldn't follow. God said, shoot, what else you want me to do? I brought you out of Egypt. When you gonna do something? When you gonna do something? We ain't gonna obey for more than a year. We ain't gonna live right for more than six months. It's, it's funny how y'all use scripture for your own benefit when you get saved. Oh Lord, you said all things are passed with all things are new. That's the only time you use that scripture. You want it to be new because you don't want to pay. Y'all ain't saying nothing. You're going to pay now or pay later. If I go across the Verrazano Bridge and I try to go across that bridge without the people, the attendance, I'm trying to go through the free pass, they're going to take a picture of my license plate and within two, within two weeks, there's going to be a bill at my door. Some of y'all got some bills to pay. You understand that, right? All right. 
I said, you got some bills to pay. But you don't want to pay the bill. I go to Florida all the time. I got the easy pass thing, and sometimes it don't work. And then I get this bill, and I be like, hey, we had the easy pass thing on. She be like, I don't know what happened, but I still got to pay that bill. Even if it ain't my mistake. Even if it ain't my mistake. And don't try to jump on me now because some of y'all don't think it's your mistake, but it really is. But you ain't got a transparent bone in your body. I said, you ain't got a transparent bone in your body. I know half the hell I've gone through is my fault. Absolutely. Everything that's done good, God did it. Everything that messed up, I did it. <laughs> Look at your neighbor, tell your neighbor, go ahead. Go ahead and take responsibility. Go ahead. Because what you just did, just loosened up your miracle to get to you. Go ahead and take responsibility. Take responsibility. I'm trying to find ways out of it. Your brother's here, right? Is your brother here? I, is that him? That you? Would you come here, sir? The Lord said this to me last night, but I didn't want to scare you. Stand right there, man. My My spiritual father was healed of Bell palsy. No, healed from it. Ah, yeah. Hoshana. Woo! Almost wish you could find a way to come back here when my father's here. But I'm gonna do my part. The Lord told me last night to do it, and then I heard something like he was leaving early. I said, Lord, if he leave early, then you ain't speaking. Oh, I'm a prophet, but I'm nosy too. So, and you was like, I'm leaving early. Telling Courtney, she was like, what, lunchtime, dinner time? Right? And then your baby said, what, 9 a.m.? I love your children. They are crazy, but I love them. Hey, y'all want to see your daddy healed? Yeah. I'm going to lay hands on the side that's hurting. And by faith, I'm not selling no wolf tickets, man. Hey, glory. I feel the Holy Ghost. Get the oil. By faith, I'm asking God to relieve the pressure on your bell palsy. I'm asking God. Hallelujah. By the end of next year, to give you all your functioning back. I'm asking God that he show you that he is a God that healeth thee. Where is it? That's that. Hey! Na, 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 na. I need you to do it, God. I need some believers now. I need you to do it, God. Hiya! Woo! Hatabashia! Hey, na, 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 na. Woo, God. By your power and by your spirit, be a healer. Woo! Be a healer. Woo! And what if, whatever's going on in your chest, the Holy Ghost said, I'm taking care of that too. I don't even think you told your sister. Right? But there's something going on in here, ain't it? Your family ain't got to worry about it. Let me say this. Whoa. Now, I only can say what God tell me. Stop trying to line things up for your departure. 
Because God said, you ain't going nowhere. Your baby need a daddy, and daddy gonna be around. They can't bury their father. I see you, I see you, I see you putting things in order. Hallelujah. And I didn't see it until I started touching your chest. Because whatever going on in there is scary to you. It got you thinking about going and what you're going to leave for your babies. Hallelujah. But through faith. I believe by faith God is going to heal your body. If you believe it, clap your hands and go crazy. Okay, okay. Because I keep hearing that. God said, you're asking me for a lot. For someone who's not close to me yet. Hmm. So you heard the miracle, now hear the instruction. The day you hear my voice, hard and not your heart. Come obedient to the word of the Lord. Your testimony will be, I chose him and he saved me. All right, I love you, you may be seated. Let's go, Matthew chapter 14, no, no, no. Every time I got somewhere to go, every time I got somewhere to go. Huh? Now, now, for, for two of y'all that's a member of this church and you still doubting me, I should never known about anything that I just told him. His sister didn't even know. And he ain't say nothing about it last night. All you demons that don't believe that your man of God is a prophet, why don't you just leave? Because I don't need no doubters here because I need God to do something. I need miracles to be wrought from the hand of the prophet. I, know, I, know. I need miracles to be wrought from the hand of the prophet. read the scripture. I got 388 words. I got to get out. I don't 
know if you're a journal type guy, but the Holy Ghost said, your miracle is going to be a process, so go home, get a journal, and as things start getting better, write dates and times. I'm going to say this, and I don't know if it makes sense to you. The Holy Ghost said, you've been enough, you've been enough hell to write a book. And God said, when I'm done with you, release your book. It's an autobiography. Your life is worth somebody reading about. You've been through some hell that you know, that a lot of folks in your family don't know except for the family that did it to you. But I'm going to leave it alone, okay? I'm going to done. done. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. No, because I'll go too fast. I'll go too far. I'll go too far. I'll go too far. No. I'll go, I'll go too far. I'll go too far. But that curse is going to be broken through your children. And they don't know why you protect them the way you do. They think you just this crazy dad. Don't let me do nothing. I feel like crying right now. Don't let me do nothing. I can't do nothing. But the older they get, the more concerned you are. Hey. All right. All right. Some of you children will never under, you will never understand what your father go through trying to raise you. You will never understand, especially after we've been handled the wrong way. And when you get close to the age where we was handled the wrong way, we become more. Y'all just think we mean. But I'll leave it alone. <sighs> Matthew chapter 13, verse 41 to 58. No, I ain't. Because I can go too far. I do not want to go too far. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why did he just let me prophesy at the end of my sermon? He said, because I want to do something. He said, is it all right that I do something? Can I, can I, can I talk in my own church? Can I give miracles out in my own church? You said at Thanksgiving, can I give them something to be thankful for? Would you look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, it's getting ready to happen for me. It's getting ready to Now, no, because you know, Mother Monroe, every time God does something, there's always two people that the enemy possess their minds. And I know you, I, I always say that we've been saying it all year. Okay, you don't say it no more then. Okay, you stay quiet on my left side. Stay quiet. Don't say another thing that I say, tell your neighbor to say, all right? You don't have to. You ain't got to say nothing else. You grown, so you ain't got to say nothing. But to those that obey your man of God, 2022 is about to make you forget about every tear that you cried this year. You didn't make it through, you survived it. You, oh, you didn't make it through, you survived it. You didn't make it through, you survived it. And like Paul, and like Paul, Taswana, some of us survived it holding on to broken pieces. And God said, he never said what was carrying you was going to make it. But he said, you was. Some of y'all are so worried about what's carrying you that you won't continue to float. Stop being in love with your boat.
I said, stop being in love with your... You know, there's a, there's a show they come out they used to call The Love Boat. Some of y'all don't know nothing about that. Y'all too young for it. And right after The Love Boat, Fantasy Island came on. Mr. Rock and a midget named Tattoo. All right, look at it. Some of y'all too young, go to YouTube. I bet you if you go to YouTube and start binge watching, you'll love it too, watch. You'll be like, yo, the love boat. The bartender name was Isaac. Had a black bartender named Isaac. But here's what they didn't, this is what they missed, and I hope I'm not boring y'all. Here's what they missed for two folks out of Keswick because you like teaching. The love boat was nothing but Fantasy Island on a boat. Because the love boat saved many marriages. They got on the boat saying after this we're going to be divorced. And they got on the love boat. And through everybody that was on the love boat, because everybody that was on the love boat was commissioned to make sure people left in love. No matter how they got on the boat. Oh, I forget it, man. I'm boring, y'all. Okay, y'all. What I love about love boat that I don't like about the fantasy island for those that are my age, a little younger, and watched it before, that you can leave the love boat with your blessing, but the fantasy island, you left the way you came. Oh, y'all quiet. You went in there with the fantasy on your mind. They duplicate the fantasy, but after it was over, you left the same way you came. So which one you want, love or fantasy? All right. Matthew chapter 13, verse 44 through 58. No. Some of y'all take fantasy over love. You have problems. I ain't going to say nothing. Y'all take fantasy over love, then what happens when the fantasy's over? Huh? But love conquers all. That's why I tell people all the time, be careful talking about you love me. I love you, pet dad. No. I'm like, I feel like Jesus. You, you, you speak up a good game your heart is far from me. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. But y'all better stop getting intoxicated by people telling you they love you. Sometimes the agenda to that statement means they want something from you and after they get it, they on, they on their way. And you left with a statement that you thought was real. But it wasn't really real. It was their lie and your fantasy. What happens when they lie is your fantasy. So that's what you wanted, and he lied to give it to you just to get something from you. Now they're gone, and you're back to the reality that they never loved you. I'm teacher, but y'all don't like my teacher. How do we go from shouting, dancing, and running to now nobody wants to say amen? Because y'all into fantasy. Because y'all think you're going to have a miracle without cleaning up your crap, right? He never, told the, he never told the lame man to leave his bed. He said, carry it. Take up your bed. And what was carrying you? You owe it. Oh, y'all quiet. You don't throw it away because it took care of you. So you owe it. Y'all missed that. Don't leave it here. You owe it to the bed. It carried you. So now you need to carry it. Ooh, some of y'all are trying to walk away from what you owe. I said you're trying to walk away from what you owe. Y'all ain't gonna like my teeth. Let me get to the hooping part, because y'all. Which means you a user. Your agenda is nasty. You got a terrible motive. Trying to walk away from what you owe. 
what you what you walking away from carried you in your hell carried you in your mess carried you and nobody else would oh y'all now 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 you now you smell like my mama used to say back in the day now you're smelling yourself and somebody told you it was pretty or somebody told you it was handsome now you're smelling yourself my mommy told you, oh, oh, now you're getting mannish now, right? So what she, what two folks don't know was she was trying to prepare me for the pain of the lie people was telling me to get me to do what they wanted me to do and disobey her. She said, all right now. My mama said, all right now, you're getting mannish. You're smelling yourself. And right after, right after they hurt me, guess what? I went back to my mama. She said, baby, I tried to tell you. But you grown, right? That's what she said, you grown. I'm trying to help y'all. Some of you millennial children need to hear what I'm telling you. Because your mama trying to talk to you, daddy's trying to talk to you. But yet y'all grown, do not let y'all quiet those filters and Facebook likes get to your head. Because today they like you, tomorrow you're pregnant, the next day they leave you. Let me tell you something. Oh no, let's talk about it. I don't mind being a grandfather, but I don't want to be a grandfather to a bastard child. Because you don't want to do what you're supposed to do. All right, let me, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me just read. Rakisha, they mad now. Let me just. Let me just read my little scripture, man. What's up, Brooklyn, my son? Uh, they mad at me today. You came mad today, they all mad now. They, we were shouting about five minutes ago. We were watching on live. We shouting over the miracles. But now we're mad about instruction. We upset now. You mean to tell me God ain't going to just give it to me? God ain't easy like you. And the only ones that are mad are the ones that are easy like a Sunday morning. Everybody else say, go ahead, Dad, say it. The rest of y'all like, yeah, last night, uh-oh. <laughs> you know, Kara, the, is it Kara? Yeah. The only ones that get mad are the people that are doing it. So if your neighbor's being mad, just, let, just know that your neighbor, you know, got jiggy with it last night. With something that wasn't theirs. Why y'all mad over here? Why are you standing in the pulpit? Where else should I preach this? And the reason why our young folks are going through hell is because we're letting the world teach them what the church should be teaching them. Y'all quiet. And some things your pastor can say that you can't even say to your children. And I hate to say it the way sometimes your children listen to me more than they would you. And you should be okay with that. Because I tell you this much, I am not going to overstep my bounds with your children. I have my own children. But I know when I take this podium, God wants to talk to the world. Not just you. He want to talk to generations. Because he's trying to break curses that our ancestors lived in. My topic, because I didn't read my scripture, but I'm going to read it in a minute, but I'm going to give you the topic. Is the value of the kingdom of God. My subtop is going to blow your mind if you like, if you're thinking like me, you must sell out to buy in. You must sell out to buy in. And before y'all go into it, this is not the law of buy-in. You're welcome. I thought like you, I wouldn't be your leader. Matthew 13, verse 44 through 58. Are we good on the screen? All right, because y'all looking real shifty up here like y'all know what y'all doing. 
Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasures. Don't be saying, oh my, if they work up there, they know they have to deal with me. Because they work for me. Y'all quiet here. They smile because they know, they know I love them. And, and they crazy. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in the field. Treasure what? Hid in the field. Oh my, we're going there. Well, where is it? I guess I'm reading too slow for you. Oh, thank you. Now let me say this, and, and, and I want them to laugh while I'm saying it, even though it might offend them. They are finding out that it takes three or four of them to do what one person do. Oh, y'all missed it. Stop hating when someone is doing a job. Because when you're turn to try to do it, you'll find out how hard it is really to get it done. One young lady gets up there and she gets all that done. But she's a professional at it. She's trained them. So what it takes one lady to do, two or three of them got to do it together in order for it to be the production it needs to be. They better start hating off what people do. You don't know what it takes to get it done. It's just what I help some of y'all. Well, I can sing like her. Okay. Can't have like on the treasure here in the field. The, the which, when a man has found, he hideth and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he has. And buyeth that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking God goodly pearls. Who when he had found one. Pearl of great price went and sold all that he had and bought it. We'll get there in a minute. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a net that was cast into the sea and gathered of every kind. That means every kind of fish. We're going to deal with that in a few minutes. Which when it was full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but cast the bad away. So shall it be at the end of the world. The angels shall come forth and sever the wicked from among the just. And shall cast them into furnace of fire. There shall be well in the national of teeth. The reason why there should be well in the national of teeth for two folks that catch it is because they think they should make it. Oh, y'all ain't saying that. There's a whole lot of folks in church that think they saved. But they got unforgiveness in their heart. They think they saved. But they're gossipers. They think they saved. They cast out demons in his name. So when Jesus comes back, they're going to be mad when Jesus sent them to hell. And he's going to say, your work was of iniquity. In other words, I see your work, I just don't see you. And the only reason why, watch this, I blessed you according to your work, had nothing to do with you, it had something to do with the person I was trying to get a blessing to. So let me say this, just because you bless somebody, that don't make you holy. Because sometimes God will use the unholy to help somebody else, just because you're dumb enough to say it. If you're dumb enough to say it, knowing that you ain't right, God is God enough to use you. Get somebody blessed and you still not saved. Look how quiet y'all just got. Look how just uh, If you don't believe that, let me give you an example. The Bible says when Saul lost his anointing, he still was king for 17 years. He was king for 17 years with no anointing. David was anointed to be king, but not yet put on the throne. Which simply means Saul held the throne until David was mature enough to take the throne. So therefore, sometimes you're not anointed, you're just holding a position. So they, because they say they pastor, that don't mean they're anointed the pastor. Some of their anointed to hold the position until the real pastor come in. All right. Mess around, be fired tomorrow. Why I got fired? Because the real pastor showed up. And all you did was 
hold the spot. <sighs> Jesus said unto them, have you understood all these things? They said unto him, yea, Lord. Then said unto them, therefore, every scribe which is instructed unto the kingdom of heaven is like unto a man that is in householder, which bringeth forth out of his treasure things new and old. And it came to pass that when Jesus had finished these parables, now there's a lot going on here, and I got 388 words to make it make sense. All right, he finished these parables, he departed thence, he left. And when he was come into his own country, he taught them in their synagogue insomuch that they were astonished and said, whence have this man this wisdom and these mighty works? Which means it started good. They started liking him until they found something out. Catch this. Is not this the carpenter's son? So you got to be careful of folks that love your present, respect your future, but can't stand your past. Boy, I wish I had a better church today. Because they knew you from when you was. And they can't fathom God using you to be what you're going to be. Because it don't match where you was. Yep. It's the carpenter's son. It's not just mother, his mother called Mary. So now he's not only talking about him, he's talking about his family. So he's the carpenter's son, which is Joseph. And then he's Mary's son. And you know, she ain't about nothing. Uh, matter of fact, we don't even know how he was born. We still think, y'all quiet, that she wasn't no virgin. You mean to tell me she got, her, Jesus came from God? Joseph just covering, y'all quiet, for her whoredom. And now Jesus, y'all quiet, the baby of whoredom, we listening to? Oh, don't worry, I'm just saying stuff that y'all would say. And his brethren, James, Joseph, and Simon, and I ain't got time to teach y'all that. I ain't, no, no, not today. And the sisters, are they not all with us? I don't know why y'all think Jesus was the only child, but I'm leave it alone. Which did have this man all these things? And they were offended in him. They were not offended because of him, they were offended in him. That's different. His whole, his whole persona offended them. His whole look. And his authority of speech. Come on, come on. And what really offended them for folks that catch it because you like teaching, what really offended them is they couldn't find nothing wrong with them. Right. Right. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You know, let me say this because, you know, this is, I don't know what's wrong with y'all, but let me say this. You know, some people only like you because they see what's wrong with you. And whenever they just want to do you wrong, they just bring it up. And out of 10, it shuts you up. They couldn't find nothing with him to bring up, to shut him up, so therefore they were offended in him. Because he's probably the first prophet they had nothing on. They were offended in him. Matter of fact, which typically meant he was good at preaching and good at carpentry. Which helps all you pastors trying to just to be good at preaching, trying to get paid. Which means you need to have a secular job to be good at. Church, take care of me. What do you do? <sighs> and they were offended in him, but Jesus said unto them, them, a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country and in his own church. Here is the dangerous verse for all of you in here that don't listen and obey. And he did not many mighty works there because of their unbelief. You know how many, time, you know how many times, let me say this, and I'm going I'm to read my little 388 yeah, and let y'all go. Let me see this because I got a plane to catch. Let me say this. You know how many times I hear people say, man, you preach like a madman in Mississippi. 
Oh, I wish I was in California with you. Go, boy, you, man, you preach. You prophesy to everybody. Bring that home. And I'm like, I can't. Because you don't. Oh, I hear him every Sunday. I hear him every Sunday. He's going to prophesy and he's going to. Okay, y'all look how quiet y'all getting. Dangerous. Y'all playing a dangerous game. Y'all playing a dangerous game. Y'all playing a dangerous game. Then you'll end up having chapter, verse 58 in this church. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Which means those that are really sons and daughters will start getting on the road. So I'm going where he at because I know he preached at home, but uh-uh. It's something different. So I'm about to get on this plane. Where you going? Where Apostle at? Matter of fact, that's what God said three years ago. Prophetically, right? All right, forget it, because y'all didn't hear it, and I'm having a conversation, and y'all boring, y'all. Y'all look, look real bored right now. The kingdom, push me for a few moments, and church argument is this. Now, if y'all don't stand up and don't enjoy it, y'all can sit down, it's good, I'm fine. Because if you're going to stand up, speak up, don't change your position and not change your posture. But if you're going to sit down, I don't expect you to holler. But if you holler while you're sitting down. Really? Amen. <laughs> Only at my church. I am disassociating myself from the church. Them church folk. Oh, y'all quiet. Church folk gossip. Church folk messy. Church folk. Oh, this the argument y'all make. I ain't going back to that. Church. Get on my nerves. You never talk about what you added to this stuff. You never, you never told them that the gossip they talking, you started it. And now that it got out of control, you're trying to get away from it. You won't ever tell you. Oh, they all just land up. You ain't telling that you land up with somebody in there. All the way you know because you're around the whole circle that's doing it. And now that you want to be delivered from it, you say, well, they keep on doing it. Well, you know, Church ain't nothing but a bunch of adulterers. I'm trying to figure out how you know. And how is you so easy to recognize adultery, fornication, home wrecking, sinning, lying, why you not talking back to me? If I'm going down your aisle, just say ouch. You ain't gonna see me get to next Sunday. I gotta give you something that's gonna stick to your, your ribs now. I gotta feed you now. But I ain't gonna force feed sheep. The church folk. Same one pushing him, the same one sinning. Look at him in the front, just. Mm. All them leaders, I know something about all. I had somebody lead this ministry, tell me. Brian, I had somebody lead this ministry, tell You know, if I had something to say about them leaders, I have a whole lot to say. I said, well, go ahead and say it. I said, say it on your way out, but number two, it better be true. I said this, and I hope y'all don't get mad. I said, because my leaders wasn't always saved. And just because I got discipline not to knock you upside your head, don't mean my executive won't do it. Why y'all mad? 
See, because some of y'all run around here, and all the only reason why, why y'all say something about people, watch this, because you hide behind church. Because if you would have said it in the street, you would have knocked your behind out a long time ago. Okay, nobody wants to say nothing, right? Say the same stuff you say about people here. Say about them in the street. You understand me? I'm going to teach this today. Vic, you ain't been here in two years. You better push me, Vic. I told him I was going to get him. <laughs> and he know I, I don't lie when I say I'm going to do something. He know I'm going to do it. I got brothers, hear me, that are certified. I blocked them from all my social media. The reason why I block them is to save your life. Because he ain't got it all. And my, my leader saw my brother, but I buried my big brother. You be maybe joking on Facebook talking about me, he will fly down here. And then fly back, and I don't even know he left. Because he does not associate with the protection that you do. When you run your mouth about folks you ain't got no business. Somebody say, this is preaching. Yes, it is preaching. He don't see a 50-year-old grown man prophet. He see y'all quiet, a three-year-old little brother, the one he fought for. Y'all quiet when folks try to jump on me. He jumped on them. Y'all quiet. If I go to Long Island right now and I walk down Roosevelt, they be like, hey, Curry, that's Fred, brother, right? That's when you know you ain't got no life when you consider somebody's brother or sister. You ain't, you ain't never yourself. Like, like my wife is only two things. She's either the apostle's wife or the twin's mother. I was in, I was in, uh, what's that place? Uh, I was in Dick's Sporting Goods. Y'all so out of order. I had to see. <laughs> hey, visitors, don't worry. We like this all the time, all right? Don't worry. You might want to join us. The Sporting Goods store. <laughs> You stupid. And I got, my, I got my new weight belt because lifting the way I'm lifting, I'm gaining. And I'm mad that I'm gaining, but I can't be upset because I must gain it to lift it. All right, we'll, we'll, because <laughs> some of y'all still want to be small lifting big things. All right, but I'll leave that alone. I, I'm, they missing the nuggets, I have to go. They missed the nuggets, I can't. I can't. So I went and got this extra large Nike belt. Yes, gotta have, it can't be, gotta be Nike. Praise the Lord. I need quality to hold this together. <laughs> I went in there. I got people that's my conscience. Apostle, that means get back here. You know, she's not my mama. All right, so watch this. That the little girl said, hey, I'm at my mask. Or, hey, I said, yes. The last name Curry? I said, yeah. You're the twins' dad. Come on, sir. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, what do you know about it? He said, I don't know. When they was a senior, I was a freshman. And, but, I, but I remember the twins. I remember the twins. How they doing, little girl? I said, well, one have a baby, and he's with a girl. And the other one with his girlfriend in Alabama. And, 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 and Alabama. Oh, they doing grown folk things. Yep, they both with somebody. I'm protecting my children. <laughs> That's how dads do it. People want to stay a certain way, but lift something that where they are can't lift anymore. Don't like church. They ain't there too. They can't say that about us. We out at twelve thirty. I don't like church. And the only time we're not out here at church is when y'all in here. 
fainting and screaming and spitting. Sister Felicia running around the church. But when she, listen, when Sister Felicia was running around the church last Sunday. I said, we here for it. Y'all keep playing till she stop running. If she don't stop running with it. No, some folks, when they praise God, I'm here for it. Others, when y'all praise God, be like, man, go on, sit down, man. Come on. We done did that four times today, like Tory. But I'm going to leave that alone. Hour and a half, he's still shouting. You know he ain't that good to you. I don't like church. So, here's my new doctrine. I'm kingdom. Let me do a live. Oh, a thousand people on there. Come on, we kingdom people. Hi, y'all. Glory. Yeah, all these dummies. Won't forsake with the, won't come together at a church or come together online where there's no accountability and saying, I am kingdom. There is. A scripture. Look at Pop Pop. There's a scripture. You're about to have some gray hair doing that, boy. You know, that gets your gray hair. <laughs> that says, I am for Paul. I'm going to Baptist today. I am for Peter. Oh, I could do it. I was in the Baptist church before. I am for Jesus. The scripture, theological text, says there's one group that are very dangerous. That group is Jesus. Oh, y'all, okay, y'all missed that. I'm a, what makes the Jesus group so dangerous is they say, I'm not bowing down to any of God's principles. I'm going to him for myself. They don't like the scripture. How can he hear without a preacher? And how again can he preach? Unless it be sent. They don't like the scripture. Obey them to have. Now let me say this about the five folk that are mad already. R-U-L-E rule. Rule simply means the five folk that don't like it. Control. I don't want no pastor controlling me. Get out. Because the Bible says, oh, Bill, does it have what? That word rule means what? Thank you very much. They don't like that scripture, obey them to have the rule over you, but they obey their manager. Or, I go get, or they don't get paid. They obey, y'all quiet. Y'all quiet, the leader at daycare. They obey the master sergeant in the military. They obey, I can't get no church up in here. The manager at McDonald's, Burger King, wherever you work at, you obey. But in church, watch your boy. In church, you do whatever you feel like doing. I am going to go to straight to God, not knowing when you go to God, God's going to say, why haven't you talked to my son? There is a scripture. Oh, no, no, don't do that yet. There's a scripture that says, does Moses, are they the only one to hear from God? These people who speak names were the sons of Korah. The sons of Korah was cousins. And then they got Miriam, the sister, to get on board. Then they got Aaron, the brother, to get on board. Does God only speak to Apostle Curry? Oh, I ain't going to get no church here. I'm a prophet too. Whether illegitimate or legitimate. That's what they call me on Facebook. That's what you call yourself. 
in parentheses next to your name. And you have no license with my signature on it. Which means you're illegal. Because licenses don't go throughout the world. Oh, y'all just missed that. There are no universal licenses. Only God called me. Uh-uh. God called you, but he uses man to confirm or what they call affirm who you are. Y'all all right? Am I not boring you? Oh, it says, I want to hear from God alone. God, Moses gets mad, and God tells Moses, calm down. You already got an anger issue. And when you got an anger issue, you don't let little things bother you. I need you to think, angry man. Because if you get angry over the small things, you're going to blow up over the big things. Oh, y'all ain't sitting. Look at y'all angry people looking at me. Oh, I'm angry too, so I have to understand it. He said, tell them to come down to the mountain, but don't touch it or they die. The Bible says they went down to the bottom of the mountain. And the Bible says God opened his mouth. And the only thing the writer could say is, it was like rushing water. Mighty earthquakes. Flashbang. And they said, no, we're here for Moses. See, a lot of y'all don't like this because you don't know your Bibles. We're here from you now, Moses, because uh, we don't want to hear straight from God. And now that God does not come that way anymore, it has strengthened the demons. Strengthened the demons because God does not do what he do done before his grace is so phenomenal that even gives our enemies a chance to get it right. I ain't gonna get no church here gamble. But let me say this because I bored y'all with that part, but let me say this. The kingdom can only be accessed through the doors of the church. The kingdom can only be accessed, watch this, through the doors of the church. The kingdom is God's vision. The church is God's mission. So when God gives you a vision, it's how you do it spiritually. But when God gives you the know-how or the mission, it's how I do it in the flesh realm to create what's going to happen in the spirit. That's why he says, thou will be done, watch this, on earth as it already is what? Then he tells Peter, I give you the key to the kingdom and whatever you bind on, oh, y'all ain't saying, she'll be bound in. Whatever you loosed on, she'll be loosed in. In other words, if you bind it from the destination, I bind it from the sender. Okay, you got the. Oh, y'all, 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 y'all. Let, let me. Read. But it has to be done in the church first. Upon this rock, I'll build my. And the gates of hell shall not what? And if the church is killing the church, that means the gates of hell have now rested in the gates of the church. I'm going to teach this later. I'm going to teach this when I come back because the next parable, I had to go forward because I need to see what the next parable is. The next parable is about shepherd and sheep. And I'm going to teach about how certain shepherds would get uh, uh, the sheep and put them around uh, uh, and stick around everything and, and bombard it with a whole bunch of sticks and a whole bunch of sticky things that nobody could come through. And then at the door of this thing, you have the sheep on the inside, but at the door of this thing, the shepherd lays. And so when Jesus says, I am the door, what he's really saying is, I'm the way in. You can't get in or out without me. So a shepherd, watch this, lays in the opening 
to make sure wolf don't come in and sheep don't go out. Okay, I'll leave it at Because I am the door. This is why it's important when you do something outside, you ask your leader. Because they got to protect you when you leave the pasture. And got to know where you are. So if you're gone too long, they leave the 99 and come searching for you. What? Uh oh, uh oh. Why well, I got to always ask him if I'm going somewhere? Don't ask, just go. I'm the door. I'm the gate. I'm the shepherd. Everything that you see here, executive and campus, they're not shepherds. They wear my clothes. Oh, y'all, and you only listen to them when they remind you of me. Oh, okay, I'll leave that alone. And once they, once they lose my scent, they should lose your obedience. Why y'all not? It's, it's called, I'm, 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 I'm going to do far, Kim. It's called sheepdogs. There's one shepherd, but then the rest of them are sheepdogs. And what sheepdogs do is enforce the rule of the shepherd so that the sheep, watch this, can be protected. Y'all like my teacher today. You got to make sure if I get to God, I must come through the doors of the church because the church ushers in kingdom. Why do you think he created the church? The church is, cre is created by Christ. No, Jesus was the first one to talk about church. Before that was synagogues and temples. And synagogue and temples were only good for kings and priests. The church allows, y'all quiet, for the sheep to come. Y'all ain't saying nothing. He said, upon his rock, I build my church, and the gates of hell should not prevail. The reason why he says the gates of hell about prevail against his church is because he always protects his sheep. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So the gates of hell does not prevail against my church, which, which, which means against my gathering, which means against my pasture, which means against my sheep herd. You come any other way, you are a thief and you are a robber. Let me get to the hooping part because y'all like the theater more than y'all like this kind of stuff here. This text, I'm almost there now, has taken his, Jesus has taken his disciples away from the crowd. He's teaching the crowd first. He's taking them away from the crowd to now teach them without using so many different parables. He teaches them a very valuable lesson that I'm attempting to teach in my last 30 minutes. He talks of the kingdom as the most valuable thing that you can have but can never absolutely afford it. I'm about to go deep, but y'all ain't going to catch it. He's talking about hidden treasure and a pearl. Watch this. Of course the kingdom is not these things, but he uses the hidden treasure and the pearl because both of these are the most valuable and or expensive thing one can think of. Hidden treasure. Let me tell you what God told me when y'all left. Hidden treasure, hidden treasure denotes an inheritance with no beneficiary. Wait, 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 wait. When they do hidden treasure or, or treasure hunts for, for, for something that's hidden, it's a billionaire who has no children about to die, hide something, and whoever finds it, I can tell y'all don't watch TV. And so a hidden treasure denotes an inheritance with no beneficiary yet. And when I wrote that, the Holy Ghost said to me, he said, he said, he said one must find it and sell out just to buy in. Wait, 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 wait. I said, what do you mean sell out to buy in? He says, tell them that even when they sell out, they ain't got enough to buy it, so they got to buy in. Okay, y'all quiet here. They don't have enough to buy it, so they need to just buy it. I can't get no church enough. In other words, they can't own it, but they can be, watch this, a part user of what comes from it. All right, all right, because... Uh, 
uh, uh, let, let, let me give you this. Let me give you. <laughs> let me let me give you this. He says. He says. He says. Watch this. Jesus said, "To follow me, you must first deny yourself, pick up your own cross, and follow me." Here's the revelation, and I only got about two more. Amen. Short paragraphs left, and we out of here. Hidden treasure, no beneficiary, but someone found it. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hidden treasure, no beneficiary. Let me give you the revelation, and I hope y'all enjoy this revelation. The revelation is simply this. This is before Jesus dies on the cross. Y'all quiet, which means there is no inheritance because there is no death. Y'all ain't saying nothing. And he says, if you find me, y'all quiet. When I die, you would have found the treasure, which is the kingdom and you cannot buy the kingdom because the kingdom is spiritual but you can buy into the kingdom and whatever you bind on earth okay I'm leaving because y'all don't like my way of teaching I'll bind in heaven and whatever you loose on earth I'll loose in heaven why because you have now become the beneficiary to a hidden treasure that doesn't belong to you it's by his grace we are saved through faith Hidden treasure, hidden treasure, hidden treasure. And when that hidden treasure is planted in the tomb, in the tomb, it's planted in a tomb and it's found by women first. It's found, y'all quiet, why seeketh the living, her God, among the dead? Go get my 12 and Peter, y'all quiet, and so you can be a part of what's happening. But in order for you to really be a part of this kingdom, you must sell out everything you think you are. Yeah, this way it gets quiet. You cannot be a part of God's kingdom and still try to be the you you trying to be. I can't get no church here. You got to sell out. Somebody holler, I got to sell out. I got to. You got to sell out. And not only do you have to sell out, I hope somebody jump on this. Not only do you have to sell out, but you got to take what you've earned and put it in him. Whoa, y'all quiet. What you mean take what I earned? I just got this money. This is the most money I ever had. Now you're telling me to put it in. Y'all quiet. This thing I found, not, all, not knowing if it's going to give me anything back. Well, when you watch a cry, I wish I had a nerve. But when you do this, it's called investing. You ain't saying nothing. And when you invest, you don't invest off a sure thing. You invest off a of potential that your investment will bring you back more than what you put out. But can I help five folks and see if y'all jump on this? The Bible says that God, according to the nature, doesn't have potentiality. Which simply is, he is not a potential God. He is God. And whatever you put in him, I can't get no church yet. He will give it back to you. Look at your neighbor and tell you he'll give it back to you. You don't believe it? I got a scripture and see if five folk jump. Give and this shall be given back to you. Good measure. Y'all quiet. Press down, shaking together and running over. Shall men y'all quiet. Put in your bosom. It simply means this. When you give it to me, I'll make sure money come from every direction. Oh, look at your neighbor. Tell your neighbor it's getting ready to come from every direction. Let's go to church. It's getting ready to come from every direction. It's getting ready to come from the north. It's getting ready to come from the south. It's getting ready to come from the east. And it's getting ready to come from the west. And some of you might say, Apostle, are you prophesying? No, ma'am. And no, sir. I'm declaring. What you mean you're declaring? And if you're a business owner, they're going to be buying from the north. They're going to be buying from the south. They're going to be buying from the east. They're going to be buying from the west. They're going to be buying overseas. Your name shall be great. Why? Because I bought in and I sold out. I'm, I'm, I'm a sellout. I know y'all don't like that. I'm a sellout and a snitch. I can't get no church in it. I sell out for Jesus and I tell on anybody. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Because whatever 
I put in him. He will. He'll put in me. Shake your neighbor hand like a stubborn soul shaker and say, neighbor. I said, neighbor. Next year will be my big year. Say why? Because I'm going to put in more than I ever put in in my life. And whatever, whatever I put in, it ain't potential. It's a sure thing. Good measure, press down, shaking together, running over. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. I feel the anointing huh, of two words. Huh, and if I say these two words huh, and you don't dance with me, huh, I ain't talking to you. Huh, I ain't inboxing you. Huh, I ain't liking your status. Huh, nor am I texting you. Huh, and the two words are huh, 2022 huh, debt free. now but I need somebody to push me for the next 10 minutes because this next thing I'm getting ready to tell you is not just for me but it's for every member that's in this church the next thing he says put out the net what does the net mean he said I'm tired of my church fishing with pole and bait I said, what you mean? He said, when the fishermen fish with a pole and use a certain bait, they're looking for a certain fish. Oh, y'all ain't saying it. And whatever does not catch it, they throw back in the water. But he said, I told you, like I told Peter, let out your neck. I'm looking for a church that don't throw fish back in the water. No matter what they do it, no matter what they look like, no matter what they sound like, no matter how they live, y'all ain't saying nothing. Let your net out, cause the biggest draw is getting ready to come. And if you know about fishing, you can't clean what you haven't caught. It's time to catch them, and then we will clean them. No more bait, just net. No more bait with me at your job. Let your net out. In Walmart, let your net out. Just in your house, let your net out. Stop trying to make free of North Carolina. Look a certain way. We ain't trying to look black. We ain't trying to look white. We're trying to look like a bunch of folks. In sin, uh, 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 needing a savior, uh, a whole bunch of folks uh, uh, that got the testimony uh, that I was sinking uh, deep in sin, uh, 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 from the peaceful shore, uh, very deeply uh, stained with sin, uh, uh, seeking uh, uh, to rise no more. Uh, but, 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 uh, the master uh, of the sea, uh, he heard. Uh, my despair and cry huh, from the waters huh, he lifted me huh, now huh, so safe from my huh, and when they ask you huh, in 2022 huh, after you dance huh, got your wig done huh, your lashes in huh, no more filters huh, six figures huh, in the bank account huh, new house huh, new car huh, and the action huh, in the month of June, huh, y'all just missed that. Huh, in the month of June, huh, the action. Huh, how did you do it? Huh, how did you make it? Huh, 
fight is your win. Uh, your testimony uh, will be simply as this. Uh, I came to Jesus just as I was. Uh, I was weary, uh, wounded and sad. Uh, but I found in him uh, a resting place. Uh, and he had a... Uh, 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 made me glad huh? look at your neighbor huh? say neighbor huh? i cried huh? in 21 huh? but i'm laughing huh? in 22 huh? say yeah baby we got 15 minutes baby if you weren't there when i was crying don't get mad when i'm laughing don't get mad. I didn't say the enemy wasn't going to try me. But in 2022, when he used you to try me, <laughs> yes, Lord. Because I remember now, after every trial is a treasure. After every trial is triumph. After every trial, I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. My next level. Come on, trial. I'm ready to go to the next level. Come on, trial. I'm ready. 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 High five three year people and prophesy to three people and tell them it's gonna be your year. You heard it first in the month of November. I ain't waiting to January 1st to prophesy. I'm telling you now, get ready, get your house in order, get your accounts ready, get your feet ready, get your mind ready, get your spirit ready. You're about to be so blessed that you're gonna forget all the hell you went through. All the folks uh, that lied on you, uh, all the folks uh, that scandalized you, uh, yes sir, uh, I'm getting ready uh, to have the anointing uh, to forget, uh, uh, the anointing uh, to do one scripture, uh, forgetting uh, those things uh, which are behind. I press, uh, I press, uh, I press, uh, I press. Uh, Toward the mark uh, of the prize uh, of the high calling, uh, which is in uh, Christ Jesus. Uh, somebody uh, open your mouth uh, and give him glory. Thanksgiving 2022 is about to be a year of thanks. What? Prophesy over your neighbor. Because some of y'all can't believe for yourself. That's why the Bible said, pray ye one for another. Say, neighbor, I'm declaring in your life 365 days of blessing. Soon as one finish, another one comes. Soon as one finish, another one comes. Uh, 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 another one. I ain't got no room. Come here, get some of this. I ain't got no room. Come here, take some of this. I ain't got no room. Come here, take some of this. If you can't believe 365 of blessings, then how did you go through 365 days of hell? Wait, 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 wait. So if the devil can fix it in a way that every day I go through something, 
then I know God. I said, I know God. I said, I know God. Look at somebody holler, he can and he will. Because I know him. I know him. Oh, I know him. No. I know him. No. Amos says it. Y'all just don't like reading it. Amos says it. And if I can find it in the Bible, then it's to me. I said, if I can find it in the Bible, my book I live off of, then it's to me. At once. Y'all quiet. So much, your head gonna spin. Blessings. After blessings. Can y'all be transparent as I close this thing down? How many of y'all got dizzy off the, all the hell you went through this year? Okay, if you didn't, don't worry. I'm just talking to the people that it seemed like one thing went down. After one thing, you felt like you was getting your bearing back, and boom! As soon as you thought you was getting your bearing back, boom! It's a wonder. It was a wonder I didn't faint. It's a wonder I didn't fail. But I remember what David said. He said, I would have fainted. Unless I see. I would have, I would have fell out. I would have fell out a long time ago. I fell out when they lied on me, talked about me, scandalized me. I would have fell out believing they lied was my truth. Believing they lied was my truth because they lied lasted longer than my truth. What happens when the lie about you lasts longer than your truth? is when your lie never get tired and your truth seems to be tired. You tired of defending yourself. Especially when you deal with people that, that around you and don't believe you and the Bible says know them that labor. You know folks come to me all the time you know since so, 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 so did that I said what she do? Da, 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 da. I said no nah, she ain't do that. It's like why? I said because I know her. Now if you would tell she slapped you then I would probably be like yeah you got it. But you just said something like way out of there. No, she didn't do that, dog. I would have to, she would have to tell me she did that. It's called know them that labor. Right? So you, can, you shouldn't let nobody lie about you or your leader. And you know your leader. He said this about you. Uh, I know the things he say about me because he says it openly. So you got to be like Dave and the whole two folks jump on this. When the enemy comes to, to bring you against your brother or your sister or your leader, you got to be like David. What do you think he was going to get for this? Oh, y'all, y'all. <laughs> what benefit did you think you was going to get trying to turn me against my brother, my sister, or my leader? We are the church and we are the door. That you don't question them. If you question them, you'll find them, to, you'll find them to be a liar. Ooh, if I was standing in there, I said, okay, well, okay. Well, 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 let's just say they did. What you want? What, 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 what position you think, what position you think is open? What position you think is open? Let me take you to HR. What position do you think that is open that you think you can do? Right. Let me say this, see if somebody jump. What position do you think you open things you can do and I will trust after seeing your mouth? Right. Like if you'll tell on them. What in the world make you think I'm going to let you come anywhere near me? Not that I'm hiding anything, but I am human. And you got to be careful who you allow to see your human side. Some folks just need to see you holy. That's why Facebook is killing a whole lot of y'all integrity. Because you're always shoveling out your humanity. And then you want to, the next day you want to be, and the Lord said. 
I feel Jesus. And they're like, because you're shoveling out your humanity. Jesus didn't even shovel out his humanity. He showed his humanity to three people. And when he showed it, they didn't see it because they went to sleep. They fell asleep on him. Can't you stay with me one hour? They went back to sleep. He's asleep on. Here come the revelation. You heard it before, but hear it again. He's asleep on, and I pray, watch this, that you don't fall into this temptation. Many believe, many believe, daughter, that the temptation Jesus was talking about was the cross. Let me share with you what he was talking about by way of revelation and see if y'all catch it. I'm going to read one more scripture and we out of here. Kari, he was saying this. He was saying this. I hope you don't fall into this temptation. What temptation is that? Picking the wrong people for the wrong moment. Going through hell ain't my problem. Picking you to go through it with me is my issue. Man, be careful who you pick to go through hell with, okay? Going through hell is what I'm going to do. That's part of what I But picking you was my biggest mistake. Choosing you. Jesus said, I chose 12 and one was the devil. And guess who was the devil? Ask me who. The one that grew up with him. Because I do know according to his history, Judas was a childhood friend. That's why Jesus gave him the money. Because he trusted him the most. Oh, y'all don't read that because your former pastors didn't preach that. They said, oh, he chose all 12 of them. No, one walked with him for all his life. He knew Judas. And the two things, people that betrayed him, and I hope y'all catch this, and two things that will betray you, and I hope you catch this and understand, especially my business owners, that God is going to bless in 2022 like crazy. All right, and if you didn't say nothing there, stay broke, okay? And you won't get that phone call. Two things the enemy's going to come after you with, and if I'm telling you he's going to come after you with this, that means you're going to be so blessed that you're worth to be coming after. Okay. Mother Monroe, I'm going on vacation because nobody's talking to me. There's two things the enemy will do to make sure that you are either messed up or you don't enjoy your six figures or seven figures in 2022. And that's simply this. He's going to give you two people that's going to betray you. And it's going to be your treasure and your security. So you got to be careful, hear me business owners, that you don't have the treasure of the only one to sign on their account. Hear me now. Make sure your name is on your business account with the one you trust. Make sure your phone, I'm, I don't know why. Make sure your phone has an alarm when something happens in your bed. Now, for the two people that ain't going to do what I tell you to do, God's going to bless you, but you're going to get robbed. Because let me say this to be clear. The Bible says that God told Israel, it's not that I'm not going to bless you. It's your blessing is going to be your next curse. Oh, y'all didn't read that either, did you? And he blessed them so much, Sister Kendall, that food came out of their ears and their nose. Let me say, see if y'all holler on this. The blessings of God are sure. Yes, sir. Absolutely. The question of it is you. Judas, the treasure, Kanan, Soko, Tashatamansia. Judas. Don't worry, visitors, I have holy Tourette's. Judas is the treasurer. Peter is his chief of security. They both denied him. I'm tired of y'all talking about one did worse than the other. Stop lying. At least Judas got paid. Peter did it for free and fear. Fear and free. God has not given us spirit of fear, which means Judas had a demon and so did Peter. His demon was okay. How do we know this? How do you know Judas 
love Jesus. I got to close here, seven, three minutes. Because he tells the devil inside Judas, you better read it again. He looked at Judas and says, whatever you do, he ain't talking to Judas. He's talking to the devil in him. Hey, I grew up with him. He loves me. And I chose him for this. So use him quickly. Or he's going to break your spell. Come on, That's why folks that loved you, that betrayed you, and they love you again, they really do love you. Your question is, will you ever get possessed again? Woo! Because I loved our life before you betrayed me. I need to know, will you ever do it again? The betrayer is only a betrayer because they loved you that much. Something got in them. I can't stand it. I'll never be around that. You never loved them. My question is, will you ever do this to me again? I ain't going to go too far because I got to teach it later on down the line. They called him the prodigal son. He really was called the lost son in the Bible. He betrayed his father in the worst way. And I got, I, I ain't going to tell you the history because the history is going to blow your mind when I teach it in a couple of weeks. But he betrayed his father. I said he betrayed his father. But he came back, Rakisha, he came back as a servant. He told his father, I'm not good enough to be a son. I'm, I want to be a servant. And because he came with the right posture, the father said, you will never be my servant. You're my son. Sons and daughters can always, they can always come home if the posture's right. If the posture, you can't come home with the same posture you left here with, especially when you left here out of order. Oh no. There are folks that left me, I, I pray for to this day. No, literally. Still inbox them, reach out to them. Let them reach out to me. Just do it in secret because I know that they cannot publicly say anything because they'll publicly kill themselves behind lying about me. So they can't publicly reverse it or they'll lose everybody. But if it was me, I would lose everybody to get my leader back. I don't care how crazy I was. Look at y'all looking back at me. Let me leave this rap scripture. We're done. We danced and shouted already. So if you didn't catch it, you lost it. Go to verse 52 in the message version, and we out of here, because I was going to talk about something else, but I got to go. Y'all y'all don't like church. Y'all kingdom people. <laughs> verse 52, you got it? Message Bible? Wonderful. He said, then you see how every student well-trained in God's kingdom is like the owner of a general store. I might dance all over again who can put his hands on anything you need, old or new, exactly when you need it. And y'all already missed it. Because that's your prophecy for 2022. Y'all, man, forget y'all, man. He said, then you see how every student, he's talking about you all that are trained, Well-trained God's kingdom. This means you got to be great in his church. It's like the owner of a general store who can put his hands on anything you need. Watch this. Old or new. And it'll become what you need exactly when you I told you it fell this year, but you, uh, you're going to pick that thing up next year and it's going to be like, whoa, I can't get no church here. That item that would never come off the shelf last year, you ain't going to be able to keep it on the shelf this year. Y'all quiet, hair, nails, lashes, boutique, y'all quiet. Let me get
get to the instruction part. Oh, we'll stop for one. I'm sorry. quiet because instruction came you danced again but here come instruction again may God know that you get instruction uh, don't ever be someone who only danced when God promises something because he never gives me anything else he woke me up this morning started me on my way put food on my table activity yeah yeah of my limb My hamstrings ain't warm yet. He gave me it. I told y'all, see. Don't mess with Sister Wiggins. She been on maternity leave, so she got a whole lot of praise in her. Here it is. If you ain't got feet, you got hands. All right. Instruction. Uh -uh. All the way out. 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 Instructions. Verse 53. 2022, the rest of this year and 2022, this must be on your mind. You better hear what I'm telling you. This must be what's on your mind. When I come back, I think we're going to start talking about things that are lost. Lost coin, lost sheep, lost son. I'm going to talk about those things when I come back. Sunday evening we're in what that place called? Rockingham. Now y'all know he came and blessed us. And so we're gonna go down and bless him. The impact team is coming. If anybody else wanna come, just roll with us. And we're going. And he's so special to me that I counseled a preacher that was coming here to go to him. Some covenants is better than convenience. I will always counsel convenience for covenant. And if I have never counseled for you, that means we're in convenience. Then you need to ask, how can we be in covenant? Are you there? Here's the instructions, because we've done y'all dance, shot at ran, can you run, can you dance? I did all that. Said about four hours before. 
I get on the friendly sky to Miami. And I'm a, Sister Latana, I promise you, I'm going to try for the next four days not to think about church at all. No, no, seriously. Church, people, like, y'all need to pray for me. Don't be like, I can't believe it. Pray for me. Because, you know, I'll be, you know, I'll be in Miami on the beach talking about, let's, uh, what should we do for the next year anniversary? My wife be like, Huh? Amen. So here's the last instruction. Now come on, 45. 45, Jesus. When Jesus finished, you know I told you something, you forgot it. No, you forgot it. No. I told you. The Lord said he was going to do something very crazy for you. Yep. Right? You, 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 and you fell off the wagon a few times. The Lord said, and he said it's months ago and it's been happening. He said every time you dance, weight was going to leave you. I'm glad that you got your mind back, back to praising him. Because you're going to be, and I don't care what nobody else think about it, you're going to be one of the biggest testimonies of weight loss without surgery. And some of y'all don't know, all y'all do is look at her progress pictures already. From when she started going to this church. Which means half of your issue was where you were. Sometimes your placement is your problem. Because the doctor told her that she was going to die before she came here. No, die. Congestive heart failure. Now the doctor's telling her they can't find it. Y'all ain't got to say nothing to me, you understand? A hospital for the sick. That's our vision. A hospital for the sick. Under the Sea is not an appropriate praise break song. No, no, you're good. You're good. That sound like Little Mermaid. What were you playing? It sound like Little Mermaid. All right, it sound like Little Mermaid, though. I was like, this guy there playing Little Mermaid. Oh, I'm going to get him later, boy. <laughs> I love it, though. I absolutely love it. This, this, that corn over there is the best corn now it's been in 20 years. No. Y'all have to laugh. Y'all ain't got to clap. I know for a fact. I ain't got to worry about them. I ain't got to ask questions about them. I love it. When I ain't got to worry, I love it. I will tell you something else, but you ain't ready for it. So I'm going to leave it alone. No, seriously. Because she'll dance again. Holy Ghost told me to tell her that someone's watching her and he, don't, he doesn't go to this church. Because about two weeks ago, she asked God at 3 o'clock in the morning on a Thursday, would she ever get married? I'm just answering questions y'all ask. 
stay on this road. You're not losing weight for people, but you got to be a certain position in order for God to bless you. You got to do your job. Y'all quiet. It's called discipline. to think when she transitioned here they said they put curse and roots on her said she was going to die for leaving her former ministry not knowing she was leaving it to come to a place where help is you gotta watch out for those witches you gotta watch out for those witches All right. All right. Which I love to see people blessed. That's what I live for. I don't know about y'all. I live for to see people Them drums ain't do nothing to you. I mean nothing. That's a class A felony. That's his phrase though, so I'm gonna leave it alone. When Jesus finished telling these stories, I'll keep playing it, because they ain't gonna shout off it, but just keep playing it just to see if, you know, if this helps them, even though it's instruction, you know, folk don't like instruction. No, don't do all that. I got it. They got to hear me. When Jesus, when Jesus finished telling these stories, he left there. Returned to his hometown. His church. His home church. This is important. And gave a lecture in the meeting house, which means he tried to teach. And he tried to do what he was doing out of town, home. Oh, okay. He made a real hit, impressing everyone, so it looked good in the beginning. We had no idea he was this good. Y'all ready for this? They said, how did he get so wise and get such ability? But here's where it flipped on him. But in the next breath, they were cutting him down. We've known him since he was a kid. He's the carpenter's son. Now they're trying to put him in a social. We know his mother, Mary. We know his brothers, James and Joseph, Simon and Judas. All his sisters live here. Who does he think he is? They got their noses all out of joint. But Jesus said, you better hope your leader never says this. Jesus said a prophet is taken for granted in his hometown and his family. He didn't do many miracles there because of their hostile You want to ask me a question, what's stopping so many miracles around here? Even though you did do, do get a few? Your indifference. In 20 to the, this year and next year, you got to kill your indifference. See, some of y'all, like that. y'all still indifferent right now, I can tell. You got to kill it. 
everything that God want to give you and can't give you is because you're indifferent. Maybe, maybe not. Oh my God, he's always preaching. He says this all the time. You got to kill it. Or, or stay in the position you're in. You got to either kill it and be like, yo, whatever that man of God says, I'm going to believe it with all my heart. I'm going to live holy, do the instructions so God can bless me. Can't be at a place, well, you know, I've been here 20 years. Been here 19, 15, 17, 5 years, 6 years. I don't know what's going to happen. He said it all the time. The reason why y'all don't know about the miracles because I don't broadcast them. There are many miracles happening here all the time. I'm just not one to get on here and preach and broadcast it because I don't believe some miracles are anybody's business. Unless the person wants to testify, they do that on their own. Too many preachers get up and preach miracles because they don't have a sermon. Or their sermon don't have any serum. We have what it takes in this ministry. But you have to in this next season, you've got to be serious and take it seriously. This whole text is not for the world. Hear me, I'm closing. The text is not for the world, it's for the church. Because he said, and he pulled him from the people. Which means for five of y'all that catch it, some miracles the world can't get. Some miracles are identified and set aside for those who believe in him. Y'all quiet. And are resident members. You heard what I just said? Re you know, there's a difference between a member and a resident member. A member is someone who signed up. A resident member is someone who show up. Okay, I, that, that. a member is someone who signed up. A resident member is the people that show up, standing all over the building. We're done. We're done. Thank you. Amen. Yeah, I like that song. Don't do it. I ain't got no voice to sing it. What do you do when you've done all you can? Eh? It seems like never enough. Oh, oh, oh. What do you say when your friends turn away? And they're all alone, you're all alone, you're all alone. Tell me what do you give when you're giving your all and it seems like it's never enough. Oh, you just stand when there's nothing left to do. You just stand. Watch the Lord see you through. Yes, after you've done all you can, you just <laughs> tell me how do you handle? The guilt of the past. Tell me how do you deal with the pain? Come on, Daddy. Hey, how do you? Yeah. Feel the shame. What do you give? What do you give? Tell me what do you give when you're giving your arm? Seems like never enough. Whoa, you just stand on it. Stand on Stand on You just, you just hold on. Stand. Just be strong. Stand.
Father, we thank you. We're not going to church. We're not going to church. After you've done all you can. After you've done all that you can. After you've done all you can. After you've gone through the hurt. After you've gone through the pain. Yeah, yeah. After you've done all you can. You prayed and you cried. Prayed and you cry. Prayed and you cry, Lord. Prayed and you cry, Lord. Don't give up, don't give in. You can win. Oh, you done But God still has your back. Tell your neighbor, he still got your back. You run from your problems. And God's going to take care of all of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. After you done all you can, you just... Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for your people. Now, God, we ask you to be with us this week as we get rid of this fourth quarter, this fourth quarter of the year. God, touch us in so many ways. Bless us like never before. We pray for those that are traveling back from their families to back to the city. Now, touch us like nothing before. Keep our mind right. Keep our spirit right. Take us to another place in you. A place where there's no confusion, a place where there's peace that surpasses all understanding. Pull us from this chaotic situation and take us to your place of joy and love. Now God, teach us to be fishers with nets and not fishers with poles. Let the first quarter of 2022 be our best quarter like never before. Let it be a quarter financially, emotionally, and mentally and spiritually like we've never had in our life. Now, God, as we leave this place, but not your presence, go with us and be with us. I pray that every prophetic word that you spoke through us, I pray, I pray as a believing preacher that everything that I said came straight from you, came straight from your mouth, came straight from the heart. And the angels now are moving in every direction to make your name and your words go true. For your word will not go out and come back to you, boy. It shall accomplish everything that you send it out to. Now as we leave this place, but not your presence. Go with us. Be with us.